For decades, the Acholi and Madi communities have clashed over Apa land, a strip that stretches across the boundaries of Amuru and Ajumani district. Scores of people have died since the conflict over the 40 square kilometer piece of land escalated in 2012. As the dispute totters from one crisis to another, government has now redrawn boundaries between the neighboring communities. According to local government minister Tom Butimi, the locals within the boundary premises will not be evicted. Don't campaign in the area which is no longer what? Yes. Yours. Now you know yours and start campaigning there. But the people who are not in control don't have to move. However, the news jolted Amuru leaders who are accusing the minister of usurping parliament's power still probing the matter. We cannot go on by any process until the issue is sorted up in the parliament of the Republic of Uganda. By the way, you have to come back. You have to consult your prime minister. They put the minister to task to explain how they came up with such a decision. You come with a sign post you want to put here. Do you think we're going to accept that? We're not. It's not you to accept We are not going to accept that. Okay. Can I take over my meeting? Yeah. Yes. 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 For as we know, the boundary is in Joker River. And that has been our issue for a long time. Therefore, we don't need anything to do with coming today and saying, DI belongs to Ajumani. I would like to say, as leaders from Amoru district, we are not allowing. We are not accepting the pronunciation of the minister is null and void. They pointed fingers at the Deputy Premier General Moses Ali, who hails from a Germany of influencing the decision. However, Moses Ali has denied these allegations. You are all others who are visiting the first Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, and that's Moses Ali. And Moses Ali has been the proprietor of this problem. And our people have been killed for this period. The Madi will come the decision and have asked the National Forestry Authority to evict the Acholi who have already encroached on the forest. Uganda Wildlife Authority and National Forest Authority will effectively exercise control on the natural resources. That is the game reserve and the forest reserve respectively to curtail illegal encroachment and exploitation. The homes of those who were banned, people from Ajumali now are coming Imagine this season, they are still planting sorghum as we speak just because they want to claim now ownership of such a land. How are you going to protect the one who has been chased away? Fears remain abound that the decision by government could trigger unrest in the area, especially if the Acholi community feels aggrieved.